Welcome to day 61 of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Miss Steer and today we are going to wake up in a strength using a warrior breath. Before we get started, a reminder that we're switching to our summer sessions next week. That means shorter sessions with a focus on practical activities, things that are going to keep you happy, kind, grateful, confident, and of course, mindful over the summer. If you're looking for the channel, just type my name, Miss Deer, that's S-T-E-E-R, into YouTube. Don't miss out on the chance to experience this summer holidays like you've never experienced it before in the present moment. See you soon. We've done lots of breaths so far. We've done calming breaths like the hand breath, like the belly breath. We've done that sitting down, laying down, standing and exercising even. We've done the cooling out breath. We've tried a focusing shark breath. We've done the lion breath to kind of let go of a bad mood and wake us up and, and get us feeling all energised. And today, the warrior breath is probably closest to the lion breath, but slightly different at the same time. It is a breath that we need to stand up for. So in a moment, we are going to stand and I just need you to make sure that you've got enough space so that you can move your arms freely without bumping into anybody or any furniture. So just check you've got enough space for this. And then when you are ready, I want you to stand up. Okay, if you haven't done this before, watch me do the first round of five. We'll do another three rounds after. I'm standing with my feet shoulder width apart. The thumbs meet above my head and then the arms come down with the out breath. So I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth, almost through gritted teeth in a very short, sharp noise, a bit like a train. Notice as well my lower body does not move. It's all done in the upper body. I'll turn on my side, you do not need to turn. I just want you to see a little bit better. I want you to join in for this one. So arms up above the head and out. And again, notice those strong arms. Notice the lower body does not move. Nice breath in through the nose and then that really short, sharp breath through the mouth. Hands can come into fists. I can't stop my thumbs coming up, I'm afraid. So do what works for you. Let's have another round, but faster. Okay, breathe in and go. Two, three, four, five. Silly, ridiculous, and it does make you quite warm, but totally worth it. One more round. And fast one and go. Two, three, four. Five. Take a moment to notice how you feel and sit down. Now that you've had a go at that breath, I invite you to take some pause time to either think if you're on your own or to discuss with other people how that experience was for you. Did you notice any feelings in the mood, the weather in your body and mind. Were there any changes as a result of doing that breath? It's perfectly fine if there weren't. I just want you to kind of explore that with curiosity and see if you can see what you noticed. Off you go. Personally, I find that breath to be quite a powerful one in that if I'm feeling tired that will really wake me up and there's something about the movements and the kind of the way that the the arms are held during that that sort of wakes up in a strength it, it's that whole body language thing again it's not just breath it's body language and it's putting nouns changing nouns into verbs again it's putting confidence in a strength energy into action. That's how I feel anyway. See what you think. This is our last Monday breath session for a while because we're moving away from the beast mode sessions and into themed weeks next week for summer. 
So your challenge for today is to use either the warrior breath or any of the breaths that we've done, any that I've mentioned, the belly breath, the hand breath, the cooling O, the shark, the lion, the warrior that we've done today. If you be mindful of what you are feeling, then you'll probably have an idea of which breath you'd like to use. So if you are feeling a little bit distracted, then maybe the shark breath's for you. If you are feeling a little bit slumped and a bit miserable, maybe you need a lion breath. And if you are starting to feel really warm and angry, maybe it's that cooling out breath. So pick the breath that suits you and your situation. For any breath that you do, you can extend that by giving yourself a number on the feeling scale before and after, just so you can see any changes in your mood a little bit more clearly. And of course, if there are other people around, or even if you're on video chat with somebody, it really helps to recruit other people to do this as well. Just as if you've got a set time in the day, especially over summer, where you say, right, at 10 o'clock each morning, I'm going to spend one minute being mindful or having a mindful breath, it's much more likely to happen. If you do try any of the breaths, if you have got any questions, if you do run into any problems, if there's anything you'd like more of or less of, then give an adult a nudge and they can share that to Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. Details are on the screen. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.